a dominant safety is the best thing that a defense in football can have. Guys like Sean Taylor, Ed Reed, Cam Chancer, Troy Pomomalu. They'll come down, make big hits against the run, and drop back and get those big time interceptions. These guys are the difference makers in games. Always making plays at the right time, shutting down the middle of the field, and keeping everyone on the same page. Now it takes a lot of work to get to that level. But when you break it down, especially as a safety, there's only so many different movements that you're doing. Backpedal, shuffle, weave, break, open your hips, uh, spin around, high point the ball. So when you break it down and work on all those individually, you'll actually see massive improvements to your game as a whole. Because that's what you're actually going to be doing when you're playing. This video is going to break down, demonstrate, and analyze the six best drills for safeties. Make sure to check out the Instagram at Pick6Athletics for even more content, more drills, workouts, tips, all that. And then share this with a defensive back you know, your whole unit, because you want to be like the Legion of Boom. You want everyone to be awesome on the same page, making big plays. You don't want to just be the one good guy on it. This first drill is my favorite one. It's pretty complex. You shuffle, open, break, then you run, and you got an option for a speed turn. So shuffle for the first few steps. It's on command. You're gonna run, then do a man turn. That's the break. Start running back in the other direction. Then you're gonna keep sprinting as fast as you can. And unless he calls a turn, you're gonna keep running, get the ball, and high point it. Make sure you're always catching the ball at the highest point because you gotta beat the receiver to it. Now, if he does call a turn, after you shuffle, open, break coming back, when he calls turn, you, now you just do a speed turn, which means you spin around, you can see in the video, and then uh, keep running as fast as you can, locate the ball, turn and high point it. This drill directly applies to when you're playing safety. If you're covering one side of the field, shuffle, you're reading the play, you'll open up, and you see something, you gotta turn back, and just keep running and find that ball. Make sure when you're doing all these drills, you're staying nice and low. You wanna start off by touching the ground so you're in that low stance. You're keeping your arms moving and you're really trying to move with intensity as fast as you can. Cause you want all your practice reps to be like game reps. So when it comes to the game, you're already used to it. Paddle, open, pedal. Now this is one thing you're gonna end up doing a lot in football and most guys forget to work on it because it's so basic. So all you gotta do is pedal on the line and then break to the next line and then start pedaling again. You wanna make sure that when you go from the open to the pedal that you're sinking your hips so you're in a nice low position and then you can break in any direction from that. You always wanna be in that athletic defensive back stance so it's easy to change direction because you're reading the offense and moving off of it. This is where you're gonna get really good at high pointing the ball. The deep ball weave drill. So you just go off command, as you can see, and you start with the pedal, and then weave different directions. And when you're playing safety, you know, lots of times you're reading the quarterback or you're reading the receivers, and you gotta move from one side of the field to the other. So that's what the weave is. Now, if you open up your hips, the quarterback knows that he could throw it to the other side because it'll take you longer to get there. So you wanna try to stay as square as possible in the weave. It's okay if you turn your body a little just to make it easier but this is better than actually opening up your hips so you weave a few times and then off the quarterback break start running one direction and then turn and high point the ball jump up as high as you can catch it at its highest point and then take a few steps out of there to simulate getting an interception pick six that the slow fast paddle drill as a safety you gotta know how to pedal fast but you also gotta be able to tempo receivers if they're not coming fast and keep your proper form with it. So it's off command for the quarterback. Bro, they need me on. Start in your stance, nice and low. And then either just, if he's holding the ball low, pedal slow. If he's holding it up, pedal fast. And then break back off his command. This is great to tempo your pedal. Make sure you're working on reading what you're seeing. And then breaking off of that. Because if you're reading the play and the quarterback's not pushing anyone deep, then you don't have to pedal fast. But if he is, you do. If you've played defense before, DB, halfback especially, this should look familiar. It's a zone drop with a break. 
So if you're playing cut, for example, where you got to drop and you're a high man player, and then you got to break on an out, this is exactly what you're going to do. But just in general, you just work on the zone drop, keeping your eyes forwards to read the receiver, take three steps hard out of there, and then when you're moving back in your pedal fast, getting a break on a nice hard 90 angle, and then turn to find the ball. Finally, we just got the weaves here. So you're gonna be weaving back and forth, like in one of the previous drills, but this time it's not gonna be a high point to finish. You're gonna break fast and just come straight downhill. This is really breaking it down to work on your weave, because it might feel awkward at first, you gotta get a lot of reps of it and you gotta make sure that you do it properly. So you don't want your feet to cross over at all, but you wanna be pushing off that foot that's in front of you, and then moving back on that 45 degree angle backwards. Then in the, when you switch directions, it's kinda like a receiver planning to switch directions, just put weight on the outside foot and start going back the other way. Weaves are important when you're keeping your leverage covering a man, or if you're just playing deep and you're reading the quarterback or receivers and you gotta move where you expect the ball to be going. Now you know what you gotta do to take your game to the next level. Let me know in the comments below which drill is your favorite and also be sure to share this with your entire DB unit. You want everyone to be great. Now your next steps to be a great safety is you gotta get faster and you gotta have proper feet. So make sure you watch these videos and do the workouts to get your game to the best it can be. Subscribe, like, share with your teammates, and have a great day.